YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. And today is the fourth video in the six part series I'm doing on virtual tables. Today we're gonna to be focusing in, not specifically on a function, but the idea of data lineage. I've been talking a little bit about data lineage as I've been going through this uh, YouTube series, but data lineage is essentially a link or a reference to the original table where a column is living. And so we're gonna start talking about, you know, what causes data lineage to break. And so we were talking about some of the functions um, that you can use, but we were talking about if you use an expression instead of just a reference to the column name, it's gonna break that data lineage. So we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you a, uh, several examples here of that data lineage working and then it breaking based on the context that we provide it. Uh, once again, if you want to download the file and follow along, there's a link down below. Feel free to uh, click on that and follow along. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are inside of the Power BI desktop. I'm going to go over to the data view here. And so the last time we were talking about several functions, uh, one of them being the add columns function. And so we talked about how the add columns function is going to allow us to add columns to a table. And so we'll see that when we do this, um, we'll just bring back the, the color here. So we're going to bring back a, uh, a single table using that values function here and we're gonna use the product table and the color column. All right, so that's gonna bring back a single column table with a list of all of our product colors. And now what we can do with the add columns function is we can now add a column to that. All right, so we're gonna use the add columns functions here. So we're gonna add a column to this table and the column that we're gonna add, we're gonna call the column the amount. So we're gonna wrap it in double quotes because it's a text string, it's the name of the column. We're gonna put a comma here, and then it's gonna ask for the expression. Well, the expression is just going to be my total sales measure. All right, so we're gonna wrap that up and we'll go ahead and return that. So as it produces this table, what we're going to see is that it's going to allow context transition. It's going to allow the columns of the product table, um, they inherit the capability of filtering the other tables through the relationships. And so we can see the um, associated amount to the color. But what if we change the name? Okay, so what if we start making some changes here? So this time, let's go ahead and modify this a little bit. So we're gonna select the columns here. So I'm gonna hit Shift Enter to drop me down to the next line. And I'm gonna put in a select columns function. Select columns is going to allow us uh, to select the columns within inside of a table and specify new DAX expressions. So in this case, we're gonna be grabbing still the table, the values um, function creates a single column table with a list of all of the colors. And so this time here, let's call this, um, we'll say new name for color. put a comma here and then we'll call out to the color column. So in this case, okay, we're giving it a new name, but we still want to have that amount, right? So we're still going to have that amount column. That's what the add columns function at the very top does. And then once again, we're just going to call out to our total sales measure. So all we've done it done here is we've added a new column here for product color.
All right, so notice here that the function still works, okay? Notice that the columns did switch positions. That's because the way that we modified the formula, it's gonna reorder them. But what we'll notice here is that we still have the data lineage preserved. So the data lineage allows the filtering, so it's being filtered down by color to bring back the amount. Now the problem occurs is if we reference anything other than just a column. So notice here, I am just referencing the color column. So watch what happens if I create an expression out of this. So I'm just gonna concatenate on a blank at the end of here. I need to modify where that parenthesis is here. All right. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and return this. And what we're gonna see is that because this does not reference just a column, it references an expression here, the data lineage is now broken. Notice that the colors are not able to filter down for total sales. So data lineage is maintained as long as the expression is only made up of a column reference. If we reference anything other than just a column, it's gonna break the data lineage, causing the filter context not to work. So each column has its own data lineage, even though a table contains columns originating from different tables. So let's take a look at uh, one more example here. And one thing that we have to understand is that with data lineage, okay, the calculate function, when we use the calculate function, when it goes to create the filter context, it ignores columns with lineage that does not point to a physical column. So if data lineage is broken and you're gonna be using a calculate function, just know that the calculate is going to ignore anything that does not have data lineage. So we're gonna build out um, a function here that has some inner and outer parameters here, just so we can kind of see how the filter context changes. All right, so with this table, I'm gonna call this inner outer sales. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a table. So I'm gonna use a summarize function. Summarize creates a summary table. And the table that I'm going to summarize here is going to be the table that I'm going to summarize here is going to be the date table. So I'm going to summarize the date table. And the columns that I want to bring in are the year. And I also want to bring in the month as well. So we're going to bring in the month as well. All right, so that creates a table. So summarize created table with two columns, the year and the month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to add a column to this table. So I'm gonna use the add columns function and I'm gonna add a column to this table. The column that I'm gonna add is I'm gonna call this year, year, year with the month. Okay, and it's gonna be a combination of the year and we're gonna put a hyphen in here. We're gonna concatenate those together and we're gonna call out to the month. All right, so we've now added this column to the table. So I'm gonna use a select columns function now so that I can select the columns in the table below, which is everything that I've just created. And we're gonna provide it the name 
And so the name for the column is going to be the same. It's going to be that four Y's and two M's to represent the year and the month. The expression in this case is going to be the one that I created in the previous line. All right, so I've now created the first column, which is the year and the month. It has a direct reference to year and month. So the first piece that I'm going to do is a inner sales calculation. Now the sales calculation is going to be exactly the same, but you're going to see how the filter context is different. All right, so we're going to say inner sales is the name of the column and the expression is going to be defined we're going to use a calculate function all right and we're going to take the sum of the sales sales amount all right so there we go so that is our inner sales calculation. All right, so we'll go ahead and run that real quick to see what it does. So this is gonna produce a two column table with the year, month, and inner sales. Now notice that the data lineage is preserved. Filter context is working correctly. We're getting the correct amount for the associated year and month. That is because the year and the month are a direct reference with inside of this. But what happens if I add an additional function with inside of it? What if I add another add columns function? Well, because it does not preserve data lineage, we're going to see a different answer here all right so I'm gonna take add columns from the entire table that I've just created okay from this entire thing here now it's providing a reference so now that table is now reference from a previous expression which means the data lineage has now been broken so when we type in here outer sales all right and we're gonna do the same exact expression here calculate the sum for the sales table for the sales amount Now what we're going to see here is that the outer sales is not going to work correctly because data lineage is not preserved because it's referencing the other table, which is a reference to the year and the month. It breaks the data lineage. And so inner sales will work, but outer sales will not work because the data lineage is broken. And so it's something that you need to take into consideration as you're building out these DAX functions to make sure that you're preserving the data lineage so filter context is going to be preserved. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Pragmatic Works for more training and also check out Hersey House BI for more of my videos as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.